And what's up YouTube? YouTube, welcome to the recording from our Living Dex playthrough. Yesterday we finally hit 150 Pokemon in our total Living Dex. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Um, included in that is, of course, our 150th Pokemon that we caught through this playthrough. We caught the legendary Ho-Oh. And today we're going to continue on with it. My phone has been taken. Beaks, how has your phone been taken? Where did it go? Who stole it? Was it Dorian? Or was it not Dorian? <clears throat> but yeah, today we're going to be continuing on the Living Decks. I have some plans for today that do involve heading to the Safari Zone. I also have some... Uh, we do need to go get the um, good old HM Rock Smash, which we somehow never picked up. Because uh, today I also want to work on trying to get the other fossil Pokemon that we don't have, as well as a couple other things as well. Um, and that's pretty much the plan for today. We have, uh, we're going to make some more progress in um, our actual journey of um, Soul Silver. Uh, yesterday we did uh, three gems. We did uh, Celadon. Uh, we did... No, we didn't do Celadon. We did, no, 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 we did Celadon yesterday. We did Celadon Gem. We did... Um, what are the other gems that we did? We did Fuchsia City Gem. And then I feel like we did a third gem as well. Maybe we didn't do a third gym. I'm saying that we did a third gym. Oh, your dad took it away. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, I thought we did a third gym yesterday. Because we'd already done Saffron. We did Celadon. And we did Fuchsia. Oh, we did we did, we did Pewter City. We did Pewter City. So we have Viridian City and uh, the Cinnabar Island left. Those are our only two gym badges we have left to get inside the Kanto region. Uh, so we are going to be working on doing that today. Uh, right now, we actually have no Pokemon in our party. So before I actually go where I'm going right now, I do need to head back to the Pokemon Center. Because I do want to pick up a, uh, a Pokemon and show you guys what I did in between yesterday and today's episode. I caught a few additional Pokemon um, off camera. Uh, some of which we already had. Two of which we didn't have. Uh, but it's just so that way I it can be less, less irritation trying to catch them later. Uh, so I did go ahead and catch ourselves two more Poliwhirls. Um, these Poliwhirls we'll be using to evolve with a Water Stone, one into Poliwrath, and one into Politoed, uh, potentially today. Also caught a Clefairy and a Jigglypuff. Uh, those two are just going to stay on our PC. They do not count in our Living Decks yet because we didn't catch them on camera. So we'll be hopefully catching a Clefairy and a Jigglypuff today, and then we'll be, we will be uh, pulling them out and be like, Hey guys, look what we caught. Um, I am going to switch out because we're about to go fight... We're about to go fight our uh, our rival. So I'm actually going to drop Typhlosion off. I'm going to drop Typhlosion off. So the reason I caught a Pidgeotto last night as well is we in our Pokemon Red playthrough, we caught ourselves a Pidgey, evolved it into a Pidgeotto, and that's where it's set. And the, the Pidgey and the Pidgeotto are currently on our Pokemon bank, uh, but we never got a Pidgeot. Um, so we're giving this EXP share to this Pidgeotto, um, so that way we can hopefully get ourselves a Pidgeot... Uh, today as well. So we're going to bring it with us as we go fight our rival in Mount Moon. Um, and then from there, from there my plan is to go pick up Rock Smash. Then we will go, uh, we'll go to the Ruins of Alf. Uh, I went down too many times. We'll go to the Ruins of Alf and we'll try and get ourselves some fossils. Uh, so that way we can revive a few Pokemon. Oh, did I not fight you? I guess I didn't fight this guy yesterday. I think this was the one guy we skipped. Ah, the weather's as fine as ever. Um, we are going to be taking on the Viridian City Gym today. Um, we might as well just do Cinnabar Island as well. I don't think we have a reason to go to the Seafoam Islands, because um, I am not planning to catch... Um, we should switch over to Miltank. I'm not planning to catch uh, the Legendary Bird Trio uh, in this playthrough, simply because I don't need to. We already have caught them before, so there's no real reason to catch them again. Um... And also, it would just waste time, waste uh, balls that we don't have. I do need to pick up some more Ultra Balls because we used a ton yesterday trying to unsuccessfully catch Ho-Oh before I finally had to use the Master Ball. It was very sad. It was big sad. Hold up. It's 22. Pew, pew, pew. Wait, it's 22? What do we pew, pew, pew it? It's 22. It's 22 what? What 22 is there? All right, Miltank, I need you. I need you not to be confused right now. Hurt itself in its confusion. I feel like every Pokemon we've gone up against recently is just all about confusing my Pokemon. And I'm like, when? The, when did the AI? When did the AI get so smart and actually know how to competitively battle? Miltank, shake off that confusion. All right, this search take out. 
Pokemon Gen 4 Diamond, I can't complete because I can't figure out the third or fourth gym. Dude, Diamond, we'll be, we, we, won't, we actually aren't playing Pokemon Diamond, we'll be playing Pokemon Platinum, the director's cut of the two. But Pokemon Diamond was, I think, was like the first game that I put the most amount of time into. I love Pokemon Diamond, it was great. 22 is in gun? Oh, it's a 22. Gotcha. I, yeah, okay. The, the gun. I gotcha there. I'm there now. <clears throat> what have you guys been up to today? Anything exciting going on in the life of all of you? Of all of you? You all? Oh, is that his last Pokemon? No, he's coming in with a camera. Uh, Miltank will no longer be confused because of the switch out. So we'll go ahead and jump over to Miltank here. Let him use a couple surfs here. Hopefully not get confused. This is his final Pokemon. Oh, yo, you're almost there, Dory. 9.1k bubbles. Almost there. Oh, the nice one shot. Was that a crit? Did that critical? No. That camera just. That camera must have been like four times effective. Pidgeotto to level 26. We gotta get that Pidgeotto another 10 levels up to level 36 before its evolution, um, at which point it will leave us. Um, but you know, it's it's it's, it's gonna get there. We're 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 hopefully going to get it there today. I did not mean to walk into this grass here. Um, um. Arr, a buck, which we don't need. Um, um, um. All right. Also, this this fight with our with our rival, they they actually have a pretty stacked team. Um, but I think we'll be okay simply because we over level or we out level them. I'm also trying to decide if I if I would instead have Typhlosion. I I think I might leave Farfetched inside the PC since we're right here at a PC. I think I, I might throw Farfetched in here and bring Typhlosion. Um, because the only reason the the real the big reason we have Farfetched on our team is for false swipe but if we end up going up against a pokemon in here that we need to catch we end up with that low percent chance for a clefairy or a jigglypuff kind of need my farfetch uh yeah that's the only thing there i, I need my farfetch it's fine dragonite dragonite should be able to dragonite should be able to, to Dra dragonite should outrage their way through our rival here. Oh, nice, nice graphical glitch, and we should be okay. All right, we're also gonna be picking up uh, Rock Smash today, so we can actually start smashing these rocks and get the cool drops from them. Sad thing is, Beaks came over for like a week and he can't call me because he doesn't have his phone. Oh, Silver's right here at the beginning. Okay, I ended up catching the Jigglypuff and Clefairy we got. I ended up going to the Johto um, Safari Zone. It was much easier to get them there. I didn't even realize that they were here. Yo, Beaks just went all in. Double Germana to 150. Wiz, I know that you are strong, but I can't help but challenge you. I didn't realize he, he got us as soon as we walked in here, or else we would have just done this yesterday. There's Silver with a full team of six. Starting out with Sneasel. But actually Typhlosion would have been a good lead here, but it's fine. We are going to Dragon Dance. Uh, oh yeah, that barely hurt. We're gonna do a couple Dragon Dances here, raise our attack all the way up, so that way we can hope we can one-shot his first two Pokemon here. Dory, you got 30 mana. <clears throat> Dragonite Speeds has ridden. He's gonna hit that Icy Wind. Should I gamble? Dude, I, I gambling isn't, isn't great. You should never gamble. Unless it's like fake internet points that you don't care about. I was gonna drop my speed, that icy wind. Honestly, I think two outrage, two dragon dances should be enough. We still outspeed him though. I don't trust it. Don't don't do it. Just don't 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 do your the fake internet gambling. Alright, um perfect. One shot. Uh, whoever he comes in with next, our double dragon dance should be enough to have us one shot again. Coming in with for alligator. We'll keep battling. Because I don't want to reset my stats. Because Ampharos could come in and easily take out this for Alligator. But we'll come with this. This is highest level Pokemon. This is his highest level Pokemon. 
We one shot. A critical hit. Please don't get fatigued. Give me one more. Give me one more, Dragonite. Give me one more. Pidgeotto up to level 27. That's hype. Feather Dance, I don't care about any moves that you learn, Pidgeotto. You're just gonna sit in a box for the rest of your life. Yo, he did not get fatigued. That means we get at least one more outrage here. It should be another sh uh, another one shot on this glass cannon of an Alakazam. Should be an easy knockout. Bum, 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 bum. There we have it right there. He'll, Dragonite should be fatigued after this one because I think he can only do three max before getting fatigued. I don't know if I've ever seen him go past three. Yep, there's the fatigue, which is fine. He's just confused, so we're just going to switch out Magneton. Yes, we'll go ahead and switch Pokemon. Um, ah, oh, Pidgey. I'm oh, just kidding. Um, we'll just have Miltank come in. Have him go for a couple strengths. Oh, which Miltank? Miltank actually wasn't a great. Great. That wasn't great. <laughs> you went in and you lost 11 mana. You ended up doing it. Beaks also went in and lost all 150 mana there. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Uh, strength is barely... Yeah, I'm not going to do anything here. This was a bad decision. This is a very bad decision. That's going to hurt our mill tank a lot. Oh, he's just, he's just paralyzing us. Okay, he just went with a Thunder Wave. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed run Gen 5 Pokemon Black version 2. Dude, that's pretty that's pretty hype. I can't wait until we get to play um, Gen 5. As someone who never who never played Gen 5 like and appreciated it when I was younger, uh, I'm really excited to actually play it this time around and actually care about it. Cause that when we when we get to Gen 5, it's very much going to be like a brand new game to me. Um, I'm gonna switch, I think I'm just gonna, uh, no, cause he's flying type, if he comes in and outrages, it's fine, but for him to come in isn't gonna be great, you're only gonna be able to discharge, we're gonna switch out the victory bell here. But I'm really excited to, to play Gen 5 and get that going. Hitting the discharge. Not very effective, that's fine, we'll go ahead and go for a Razor Leaf. Alright, I was hoping it was going to do a little more damage. I knew it wasn't going to be effective. I knew it was going to be not very effective, but I was hoping it was going to do a little bit more than that. Especially more than Strength. I feel like Strength actually was doing more damage there. Staying with Milsang probably just would have been better at that point. Which, Victory Bell doesn't have too many counters that he can do against... against this guy anyways. Against Silver. Ah, if that would have critted, will he use a full restore? He will not use a full restore. He is going to supersonic me and confuse me, which kind of sucks. Please come through. Victory Bell. Hurt itself. Gen 5 was always amazing for me, the first gen I ever played, and I have white version 1 and black version 2. I only have white version 1. Um, I've, I've never played uh, black, or, black or white 2. Uh, so I'm excited to, to actually play through him. Ah, Victory Bell only snaps out of his confusion to be paralyzed. That sucks. That sucks. It snaps out of his confusion to be paralyzed. And there we go. Razor Leaf to finish off Magneton here. I um, mean, he'll come in with one of his final two Pokemon. I believe that's the fourth one down. Yeah, because we 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 won we owe code three of his Pokemon. Milton gets a nice 300. Uh, Pidgeotto a nice 800. Goes up to level 28. Hudson and Golbat. Oh, absolutely, we'll switch. Ampharos, go ahead and come on out. Put Golbat down. Put Golbat down. Bum, bum, bum. Ampharos, go for the Discharge. He's going to go for the Confuse Ray. I'm so tired of our Pokemon getting confused. I'm so tired of it. I feel like yesterday and today, all that's happened is our Pokemon have been confused. And they hurt themselves. <laughs> ah. And then especially even more so when Dragonite literally confuses himself every chance that they get. Snaps out of the confusion. Ampharos. Very nice. Very nice snap out of confusion there. The discharge goes off, and it is a one-shot. Pidgeotto with a nice 850. Gengar is coming in. We're going to go ahead and keep battling here. 
since we aren't currently confused. Imagine Pokemon Go on this list. Oh, uh, what do you mean? Well, like, what, what specific list? Pokemon Go would be crazy. Specifically, which list? Like, d doing for the... Uh, for a living dex? Or did I miss something? Ooh, there we go. For the living dex. I have a... I, I have been doing a living dex in Pokemon Go. Um, ever since I started playing Pokemon Go as well. <clears throat> and my living decks in Pokemon Go is going much better than my one here, although I've also been playing this one for a couple years, and it's a lot easier to get Pokemon here. Um, let's just go in here, go by number. So here is my, uh, Pogo. Um, I have all of Gen 1, every Pokemon in Generation 1 I have in my living decks. There isn't a single Gen 1 Pokemon that I'm missing. Um, Generation 2... Uh, as we get to it, nope, still Gen 1. Uh, Generation 2 I also have completely completed. Um, I have a lot of Pokemon. I have... Uh, I have 838 Pokemon. <clears throat> I have all of Kanto completed, all 151. I have all of Johto completed. Um, Hoenn I have 130. The only Pokemon in Hoenn I'm missing is a couple of the regionals couple of the regionals uh generation four missing a couple of regionals as well um that's all that's the what's the hardest part about gen about pokemon go is dealing with regionals but ever since i started playing pokemon go we specifically tyler and i were specifically like we're doing a living decks my training's still not good enough my pokemon are so weak it makes me frustrated but i can feel that they're getting better after each battle they're still too weak I need to give them more training. I know. I should take them to the Dragon's Den. See you, Wiz. I have all the Hoenn on Pokemon Go. That's impressive. Yo, Billy's calling. All right. I'm going to switch Farfetch up front. We aren't going to stay too long in Mount Moon. I'm going to give it a a, uh, a couple bits because Clefairy here is a 5% encounter, but Sandslash, Sandslash is not. Actually, Clefairy is the only one we can find in here, and I, I found Clefairy much faster. And, um, I found Clefairy much faster while we were in the Safari Zone. So there, there's no reason for me to be here. There's, there's zero reason to be in Mount Moon. Other than we need, do need to get a Moonstone. Um, that's only near the pond on Monday nights. And it's not a Monday night, it's a Tuesday. So that's, that's all done there. Uh, Route 4... Jigglypuff has a 5% spawn there. Easier to get it inside of the Safari Zone. Um, hoot, hoot, nothing there. Cool, so I think actually next up it is time to go to Viridian City. You used to? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yikes. Alright, and once we actually get to Viridian City, or after, once we go to Pallet Town, I think we can also get ourselves a, um, one of the starters. Bum, 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 bum. So this is up next, going to Viridian City. Poliwag and Poliwhirl can be found in there. We don't need them fishing. We don't need... Headbutting a 30% chance for Ladybug? That could actually that, that could actually work out really well. 30% is the highest chance I've seen for. My dumb cousin got rid of all my Hoens because he said these are trash. Wow, that sounds like a terrible person. I hate that. Uh, and level 18 in Taladian. So actually catching two would be pretty sick. So actually, once we get to Viridian City, we'll try that, because 30% chance. Uh, the only thing we'll be going up against is Pineco and Wurmple. Wurmple is Gen 4, right? Wurmple's Gen 4. Um, 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 no, Wurmple's Gen 3. Wurmple's Gen 3. Um, so if we catch it, cool, but I'm not trying to. I'm not going out of my way to catch it. That's pretty much what I mean by that. Since we're about to, as soon as we finish off Soul Silver. Uh, We'll be playing uh, that, which I feel like Soul Silver will probably be done with within, within the next couple of weeks. Um, since we are, we we today we should be able to beat everything off. Um, Diglett's Cave. I can't. I think we can avoid going through Viridian Forest because there's nothing in Viridian Forest that we need. There's nothing in Viridian Forest that we need. No, not a single Pokemon in there that we need to catch. But I think today we'll end up finishing. The Kanto region, and then we'll focus on just catching Pokemon for the rest of the day. 
Because if I cut through here, I think I can walk around it. I'm not sure. If if not, I do have some uh, repels, and we'll just throw on some repels and go through Dream Forest. But I think we can go around. There is this house. Also, is there anything in this house? I remember in Gen 1, you get something from going in here. When you play Pokemon Red. Oh my good nugget, you're the first visitor I've had in a long time. I'm going crazy with joy. Since you look as bright as a nugget, let me give you a little present. Oh, we just get a nugget. Okay. Helpful, I guess. That's the nugget. I can't give you any nuggets of wisdom, so that'll have to do. Teehee. Alright, can we... I think we can. I feel like we can. Oh. Changed my Twitch name to the, the Magic Conch 5. <laughs> so you're Wiz. Professor Oak is waiting for you in his lab in Pallet Town. Also, I received this from him. He wants you to have this. The Sacred Ash. I don't know what the Sacred Ash is for. Sacred Ash is an amazing item that can revive all fainted Pokemon. Oh, interesting. To the north of Pewter City, to the south of the Verdean City. I know, I know, I sound like a sign. Uh, that's my Xbox name. It'll be easier for streaming and YouTube. Fair enough, fair enough. Wiz found an elixir. I think this takes me actually straight down to Pallet. Which I, I'd like to stop in Viridian... I, I, I would rather stop in Viridian City first. Or is this... No, this Viridian Forest. This is this Viridian Forest here. Yeah, this takes me into Viridian Forest. Which is not where we want to be. I just want to check. I want to verify. I'm pretty, pretty sure. Yeah. Which is not where we want to be. Welcome home. I love you. <clears throat> how how is your streaming been going, Emerson? Uh, do I want? I don't want to fight these people. <clears throat> I don't. I don't care to fight these people. Although I know it would be good XP, especially for Pidgeotto, um, but there isn't really anyone else we're looking to give XP to right now. And then always at the end of the day, we can just rechallenge the Elite Four and get easy XP for these. Because the only other Pokemon I'm thinking we want to do that is some. Togepi. My Togepi needs some XP because it needs to level up. We also need to um, put the Togepi back into the daycare again um, and get ourselves so that when we actually have a Togepi for when we evolve that one into a Togetic. So we need to do that as well. Cool. Viridian City. Like I said, no wild Pokemon that we need here. Hey kid, I just had a double shot of Express and I'm wired. I need to talk to someone who have to do. I might not look like you now, but I was expect expert, expert catching Pokemon. Believe me, no. What, you little whelp? If I were just a bit younger, I'd show you a thing or two. Hey, good for you. Um, all my Pokemon are healed up, aren't they? They are. I'm actually just going to switch Dragon out front. I want to put my TTV in my Xbox name, but it won't let me. Oh, no, there's someone standing in front of the gym. Can we not do Viridian Gym first? Maybe we have to go to Oak first. I'll talk to this guy. He may just move. This gym doesn't have a leader. A young man from Talaton became the leader, but he's often away. Alright, um... Gym is closed. The Pokemon Academy that once stood has been replaced by the Trainer House. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, the Trainer House allows uh, challengers... Uh, so I have the as Carl. Our cow, he uses Jonah Starter. Various trainers are battle points. I don't care about that. Why would I care about that? Unless I could have one of these Pokemon. If I beat him, do I get one? No. So I, I need to get these other guys. Um, and then we just head down to Route 1. Okay, cool. Route 1 here. So a 5% chance for a Furret to appear. That is what we need on Route 1. <laughs> that is the only Pokemon we need on Route 1. Um, Lady Bell also has a 30% chance on Route 1 versus... Uh, actually, versus the same thing from here. Um, while we're here, um, we can attempt to headbutt some of these trees and see if it happens. Farfetch'd, use headbutt. See if we get any encounters. All right, not from this tree, which is fine because I need to switch Farfetch'd up front anyways. Because if we end up going up against the Ladybug, we want to be able to properly catch it. We'll try these trees right here. These trees look like some good headbutting trees. Farfetch'd, use headbutt. <clears throat> nope. Solid. I love that every every tree isn't a headbuttable tree. Like, you can hit headbutt on it, but it doesn't give you a Pokemon. Alright, not that one either. I don't know which trees here can be... 
Which trees are headbuttable then? If it's not those, I don't, I don't, I don't know what other Pokemon it. I don't know what other tree it'd be. Maybe the ones behind the fence over there. Can I even get to the ones behind the fence over here? I don't think I can. I cannot. Uh, maybe this one right here. These look like uh, this. This would be a great place to be able to headbutt a tree. Also, I, I don't know what this guy is. I assume he's gonna give us something. Use Ted Butt. Come on. No. Okay. Whatever. I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this dream about drowsy eating my dream. Weird, huh? Huh? Uh oh, what's this? Where'd this TM come from? This is spooky. Uh, TM eighty five. I assume dream eater, since we we talked about eating dreams. Team, yep, contains Dream Eater. Alright, well, I can't find the, the tree that you're supposed to headbutt here, so we'll, we'll just hopefully find one on Route 1 that we could headbutt. Because it's the same odds for uh, Ladybug there as well. And like I said, the only other thing on Route 1 is Furret with a 5% chance encounter. Um, which versus Pidgey, Rattata, and Sentret, we'll probably be seeing a bunch of Pidgey. Um, would I like to take it? Yeah, what are you holding? I don't know what you're holding. Seems too important to let go. Oh, is it his leak? <laughs> why, why would I want to take that away from him? No, you're a trainer. I don't want to fight you. Alright, let's see if we can get super lucky first try for it. First try. No, Pidgey. I swear, even on normal, the XCOM enemies are amazing. Dude, that's what I've been playing on, is normal. The XCOM enemies are so tough. Uh, we should be back with XCOM on Friday. This Thursday, we're taking a break from XCOM because we're streaming the new episode 38 of DC Universe Online. The Wonderverse expansion, which is coming out. So we'll be playing that on Thursday. Um, I think we'll probably be able to do all of the content on Thursday. Um, so Friday should be a switch back to XCOM. Uh, but if it isn't, Friday will be more DCUO until we finish off all the content there. And then if we end up not playing XCOM this week, we'll we'll take a break from the Living Decks next week. And we'll do XCOM next week. I'm also thinking about adding a stream on Saturday. Um, but I've been adding streams. Honestly, adding a stream yesterday kind of hurt me. Because uh, I didn't manage to get um, some editing done. Which is why there's no um, TCG video today. Uh, unless I end up ha unless I end up being able to edit it after stream, and then make thumbnail for it and all that, and throw that up. If not, we'll just have one TCG video this week. Which I recorded a second TCG video this week. I recorded a tournament for Thursday, but honestly, I, I don't know if I want to post it because it, it just it, it wasn't a, it wasn't a, a, a long video. The video is like 12 minutes long, um, and like doing tournaments is kind of tough to do. Like, the, the event tournaments where you pay the tickets, since you only have so many tickets, and you use them up so quickly, and, and, I, and I feel like it's, it'll be boring if I just make you guys watch me just use my Pika-Rom decks all the time, deck all the time in tournaments. Um, so I'm trying, I'm trying to figure out what else to do with the TCG to make it interesting. Yeah, I'm down to, like, 30-something tickets right now, which, if you only gain one ticket each time you gain tickets, if, if you gain tickets, like, faster at a better rate... It'd be worth it. I could keep doing it, but since you gain tickets so slowly, it makes it tough. So I'm trying to figure out what I can do with TCG content because I still want to keep uploading it. Um, but it may just it may just revert to being one TCG video a week. We'll have uh, Pokemon D and D on Sunday, five days of Town of Salem. Um, maybe throw a TCG video out on Wednesday. Um, and then, uh, Saturday I'd eventually like to start uploading competitive, uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, but right now I'm just still trying to learn more about that, so that way it's not bad. I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. Which I feel like that's good because we're also uploading all of our streams that we do throughout the week too, so I feel like there's an, an, enough variety of content on the channel. Um... But I don't want to. I don't want to have everything be too overwhelming for viewers who want to watch, or for myself, because it's it's already it's a lot right now when I'm out of work. But once I start back at work, it's going to be tough to be able to keep up with all that. Sintra, why can't you be furrent? 
Sintrin actually on this route has a 20% spawn. So that's better odds, but the only thing lower than you is Furret. Pum, pum, pum. Uh, which, what level does Sintrin evolve at? If Sintrin evolves at a low level... Hey, you got your phone! Uh, Sintrin actually only evolves at level 15. That's actually not... That's not too tough. And I think that I think the Sintra we actually have in the PC might be a little bit of a higher level. So actually, yeah, just the next next fur we have pull or the next Sintra we have pull up, we'll just catch that, and then we'll just evolve the other one. Because I think the one that we have in our PC is already a because uh, we used it at the beginning of our playthrough. Um, and to level 15 isn't isn't that tough. Um, even though the one we catch here is going to be level 3, but we'll just piece, we'll throw it, toss it in the PC and not worry about it. Bum, bum, bum. Come on, Centric, come back to me. Come back to me. Oh, we also have to fight uh, Red at some point. After we finish off the, the, the Kanto League. Because what else do we have left? We have... Uh, we have... Um, Cinnabar Gym, which we're gonna do. We have the Viridian City Gym. Um, fight. False swipe. Uh, the Kanto Power Plant. I think the Power Plant is just to get Zapdos, which I don't... I'm, I'm not going on all the way to get, because we already have one in our... In our decks, and... I don't need more Zapdos. We do need more Ultra Balls. We only have nine. Alright, in Pallet Town... And Pallet Town, Tentacool, and Tentacruel can be found there, but I'm fairly certain I already have both of them. We'll check real fast, but I'm fairly certain we already have both of them. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah, we already have both Tentacool and Tentacruel. Um, anything that we can fish up, Shelter is only a 3% chance there. And then a gift Pokemon, Red South, Resonant Home, if you blue, blah, 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 blah. Uh, he claimed to have a gift for you, but first you must defeat the remaining Kanto gym leaders to receive it. Afterwards, you can speak to folks, have them rate your Pokédex. There are currently 493 known species possible. Use Poké Gear to have them rate your progress over the phone. Cool. So that's pretty much what we'll do there. So I think really we just need to go down to. Uh, we just really need to go. We need to go to Cinnabar Island, basically, is the, is the next thing we need to do. Because he, he's not even going to give us the gift yet until after we defeat the other Kanto... The other Kanto gyms. I'm still tired and I took three naps today. Dude, if that doesn't sound like adulthood, I don't know what is. Ah, Wheels, it's good you've come all this way to Kanto. What do you think of the trainers out here? Pretty tough, huh? Ah, you're collecting Kanto gym badges. I imagine that it's hard, but the experience will surely help you. Ken, come see me when you have them all. I'll have a gift for you. Keep it up, Wiz. So how's your Pokédex coming along? Um... Let's just have the national decks evaluated. You have to have seen 202 Pokemon. You've caught 59 Pokemon. I see. The goal may be far away, but don't give it up. Keep going. Yeah, but in reality, in reality, Oak, I have 150 Pokemon caught. All right. Um, so this this typical walkthrough makes me uh, is like wants to skip over Cinnabar Island or wants to skip to that. So we're gonna go Cinnabar Island instead. Um, because I think this is where blue is now. Um, I actually, I think I'll, let me, let me check real fast. I don't think there's anything that we want to catch. No, there's nothing we want to catch while we're surfing here on this route. So we will throw on, um, we'll throw on our elixir, or not our elixirs. We'll throw on our repels, which will be really, really smart and nice to have. Uh, yo, all in at 114 mana. There you go, you just doubled your mana. Bum, bum. Uh, yeah, there is a cooldown on the gambling. Um, each time you gamble, you have to wait a certain amount of time before you can gamble again. I think it's like two or three minutes. This is the cooldown that we have set on there. Just so that way it doesn't get spammed in chat. Just go around from here. Just going around you here. Nope, nope. Oh, did I go? Too, did I go too far past Cinnabar? Oh, there we are. There's Cinnabar Island, right there on our right. Let's go ahead and use the Pokemon Center because I think that's how it 
You have to use a Pokemon Center before you can fly back to it. Bum, 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 bum. Um, the former champion, Gym Leaner, uh, posts that uh, in order to persuade him, you must first collect the other seven Kanto badges. During the seventh, you need to track down of this place, Sunbar Island. Oh, dang it, he's in the center, but he's in the Seafoam Islands now? Dang it, I forgot he's all the way over there. I didn't want to go to the Seafoam Islands. We didn't have to. Which, there, there are probably some Pokemon that we can catch there, because I still need a Dugong. So, I guess. I just didn't want to. You know. It's fine. <laughs> oh, nope, there. Yep. Hi, hi, Blue. Who are you? My name's Blue. I was once the Kanto champion for about 30 seconds. Although it was short-lived thanks to Red. Anyway, take a good look around you. A volcano erupts and just like that a whole town disappears. We can go on winning and losing a Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches, we can be overwhelmed in a second. That's the way it is. But anyway, I'm still a trainer. If I see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me, for real, show me how many Kanto badges you've got. Six. <laughs> You're not ready to battle me. Alright, buddy. Alright, buddy. Alright, buddy. Alright, um, so we gotta go over to Route 20 towards the Seafoam Islands. Um, Titicruel and Titicruel are the Pokemon we get for surfing, so we'll probably throw on, um, another good old that. Oh, is the Seafoam Gym? Is Seafoam Islands just a gym now? I think it is. There might not be any wild Pokemon there anymore. So we put this on. That's just the Seafoam Islands, Seafoam Gym. Blaine's Quiz Machine were destroyed. There are no puzzles solved. However, none of his six gym trainers will approach one step to their line of sight. Um, each one will stay the station and choke point will not move until they are defeated. So we have to beat all the trainers. That's fine. Um, that's not a big deal. And then there is the actual Awards of the Volcano Badge in addition overheat. And then the Seafoam Islands you can actually go into. Um, are there any wild Pokemon worth, of, worth us going to get? First floor, no. Second, uh, basement seal. Because we, we, we never, I don't think we got a, uh, a dugong. No. So, yeah, we might jump in there and grab the level, uh, the 30% chance for a seal. A dugong is on basement floor three. But I think dugong is the only one we need. Oh, slowbro is a 10% chance, but I think we have slowbro. We do have slowbro. Slow King is who we don't have. And then Articuno. Uh, there is a Water Stone in there. We do kind of need a, heart, a Water Stone. We do need some Water We do need a Water Stone. So, on, so honestly, go down to... Uh, atop the ledge in the South Central area. Is there a map? If we, if we just go down to Basement Floor 2... Um, and go get the... Wherever it said the water stone is. That should be all we really need to do. Catch a high level seal, um, get a water stone, and then leave the Seafoam Islands. Not even really care for for Articuno. Just leave the the legendary Pokemon where it wants to be. You know, no reason to no reason to mess with a legendary Pokemon, right? It's just it's just living its happy life in there. You're gonna challenge me, aren't you? Yeah. No reason to mess with that, the happy legendary Pokemon's life. Who's up front? I think I have Farfetch'd up front, or did I switch Dragonite up front? Badoof! Oh, I expected a water Pokemon. Alright then. Oh yeah. Go for an Aerial Ace. Badoof the God Pokemon. Super Power. Because Badoof is the God Pokemon. I think this is the first one that we've seen, too, which is really fun. Another aerial ace to finish it off. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Defeated swimmer, Leona. Wonderful. So once we get this Pidgeotto evolved as well, the next thing that we need to grab is we need to grab our... Um, are you going to challenge me? You are. What a dick. Are you in a hurry? How about a quick battle break? Ooh, no, what if I'm in a hurry? I'm clearly in a hurry. I don't want a quick battle break. Picnic or Adrian? Adrian? Why are you why are you picnicking over here? This sounds like a this looks like just a terrible place to picnic. 
Wow, 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 wow. Oh, wow. Almost, almost a one shot. A nice seed bomb on us. Not very effective. There we go. A nice KO there. Barely getting XP, though, even though these Pokemon are level 35. Like, these Pokemon are, are, low, are level like 40 something. Barely getting XP. Seed bomb island. Oh, wait, what would that say? Somebody put a notice under the sign. The Cinnabar Gym has moved here. Leader Blade. Alright, so this must be the, the gym then. Seafoam Islands. Maybe it isn't. Oh, uh, I think if we go up, it's the gym. And if we go down... Yeah, okay, so up is the gym. Down is the actual Seafoam Islands. Good to know. Because we'll be going down after this to grab those two Pokemon. Yo, legend in the making. This gym has many trainers and rocks in the way of the re from the rebuilding. It sure won't be easy to get to Blaine, but keep your cool and defeat the trainers one by one and you'll surely find the path. Um, yeah, so we just go, hey. A white lab coat is a researcher's life. We may be living in a cave like this, but we never forget to do the laundry. I'm glad you're doing the laundry. That's, that's pretty exciting. Scientist Lowell. Arcanine. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my um, attack. That's fine. Um, let's go for a waterfall. Be super effective here. Might, might one sh No, I don't think it'll one shot. I think this will be a two shot. Yeah. Fire Fang. Barely, barely did any damage. Did 12. Took 12 HP. He was with the extreme speed though. Extreme speed is gonna be is gonna be decent compared to the fire fang. Actually, it barely did anything either. Okay, I'll take it. Dude, this is why I miss Dragonite so much in uh, Sword and Shield. Dragonite is just such a good Pokemon. So upset that they don't give it to us in Sword and Shield. I really hope when Count Crown Tundra comes out, we can finally have a Dragonite back. It's pure white in my head. The white lab coats make me feel like I've become smarter for some reason. Alright, so we can go either left or right here. Um, so... We want to get to Blaine, so if we take out these two people right here, we're at Blaine. Yeah. Wow, to see a gym in a cave like this, I'd love to explore it. Go explore it, what's keeping you stood here? Super nerd carry. Dorkle. Wow, 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 And, ooh, okay, gonna be a similar two shot here, that's fine. Honestly, we could probably throw, a, we could probably hit a dragon dance. We pr if we probably would've hit a dragon dance, that probably would've one shot. Cause that would've raised my, but I don't, I don't know if waterfall is special attack though. Pidgeotto up to level 30. I need Pidgeotto to start gaining some more XP, though, so we can be done with it. Uh, bitterness leads to improvement tomorrow. Nice. Uh, graphical glitch there. There we go. Yeah, so defeat this guy. Defeat this guy, and we should be good. Although, if I stand here, I don't know if he'll move back. I don't I don't, I don't. don't know. I think they always move to a specific place. This guy might instead cover Blade, though. I think he'll probably cover Blade, and I'll have to go around. Blade may have lost his gym, but he never gets up his perseverance. Is what motivate his perseverance is what motivates him. There's a period there. 9.3k. Hey, you'll get there. You're challenged by scientist Linden. Magmar. Okay, we'll hit a um haul it. We'll hit a dragon dance and then we'll hit a waterfall. I just need to check and see if waterfall is special attack. I mean, I guess I can just Google it. Um Waterfall special attack or is it attack or special attack? Uh, waterfall as the difference is waterfall. Uh, what's the difference? Blah, 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 blah. Priority. I just want to know if it's if it's special. No, it's physical. Waterfall is physical. Okay, cool. Good to know. Waterfall is physical. So Dragon Dance will boost Waterfall. There we go. And we get a one-shot with it. 
still takes two turns to get there, but... Ugh, I can't do it anymore. Together with Blaine, we'll rebuild our gym. Yeah, he covers that up. Um, so that guy, I'm just gonna ignore because he probably covers that up there. This guy might cover as well. It might be set where the last one moves. I don't know. Oh, you look easily defeated. It's kind of rude to just say to someone, Oh, you look like I could defeat you easily. Level 53. Win another Dragon Dance. We'll also use a Hyper Potion before we take on Blaine. There should be no reason that we need to go heal up. Especially because of the closest Pokemon Center is all the way over to Cinnabar Island. So it actually take us a while to get here. Oh, don't make me fall asleep. Right, as long as I can hit this, this should one-shot. And it shouldn't matter that he made us drowsy. There we go. Super effective. For Blaine himself, though, I think Dragon Dancing and Waterfall is still going to be a good play. Since Waterfall's priority. Pardon me, I failed to sense how strong you are. Yep, cool. And we will use ourselves a quick, um... Use a nice little Hyper Potion, get ourselves some HP back up maxed. Because we have Hyper Potions to spare. Hopefully we get some decent XP here for Pidgeotto. Uh, hey, you! My gym on Cinnabar Island was burned down by the eruption, but I'll not give up. Take a look at this cave. We've turned it into a gym, and I'm still acting as a gym leader. I will give you the gym badge if you manage to defeat me. Are you ready? Here we go. Here we go! Blaine's just such a cool guy. Only three Pokemon, Blaine? What's up with this? Level 54. He's not going to give as much XP as I was hoping for, is he? Alright, he's going to hit us with a sunny day. He's going to boost his own attack power here. So we are, we're going to go ahead and hit him with a waterfall. I was considering a second dragon dance. Okay, we're going to second dragon dance. I was going to hit waterfall there, but I, I hit A too, too much. So it doesn't matter. Uh, he's gonna hit us with a rock slide. Um, ba -da -da. Sunlight is strong. All right, no dragon dance. We're gonna waterfall. We're gonna one shot. We're gonna one shot the rest of his team, which I don't know what the rest of his team is. And then we're gonna head down to the second floor, and we're gonna get ourselves that. Uh, where's water so at? B two floor. B B two. That one. Pidgeotto got a nice 800. Pidgeotto up to level 31. Five more levels for Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto might be with us until we make our way to, uh, to Viridian City. Pidgeotto might still be with us there. Hopefully, um, the couple of uh, trainers that we might run into while we're down inside of, of Seafoam Islands. Because we're just going down two floors. We're not going all the way down. And we're just, we're going for the water stone and we're leaving pretty much. So that way we can also go ahead and evolve, uh, that way we can evolve, uh, Poliwhirl into Poliwrath. That's an in Rapidash. We will keep on battling. And then I'll need to find out where we can get a King's Rock from. I'll show you the spirits of this cave, Jim. Highest level Pokemon here. Highest level 59. I think Viridian City Gym might be level 60. Which we might be a little screwed once we get to that. Um, where can we get a King's Rock at? Soul Silver. He held on. He held on. He's gonna hit us with the Overheat. Shouldn't hurt us too badly. Not very effective. Not very effective, but it is pretty powerful. Also drops its special attack by a lot. He's gonna eat a little berry here. Uh, just restores the status. That's fine. Sunlight fades. We can still do it. You cannot still do it. We're going to 4 Restore. If we critical, we're good. Uh, you can find one in Slowpoke's well. You get it from the Poke Left Dome for th uh, 3 on mo Monday, Thursday, Sunday. It's also on Wild Polyroll, Polyrath, Slowbro, Polytoad. Oh, yeah, we just need it. It's a 1% chance. But I should just check if the two we've caught might have a... It's only a 1% chance, but we should still check to see. If not, we can go back to the Slowpoke well and uh, get one there. 
Awesome, I would have burned out. Take this volcano badge. Got the volcano badge. We'll need strength and surf for the uh, which we have, because we didn't have it the first time we did the slow poke well, so we're good there. Here, I'll give you this too. It's called overheat. It has a slight drawback, but it's powerful and well worth it. Um, um, I did lose this time, but I'm going to win next time. When I rebuild my Cinnabar Gym, we'll have to hold a rematch. Absolutely, my dude. Absolutely, my dude. Whenever you get that rebuilt, just give me a call. I'll come beat you again. Alright, we're going to go ahead and switch Farfetch'd up front. Um, because we are going to be looking for good old, good old seal while we're down here so we can evolve to a Dugong. Um, let's see here. Just push this up. I'm also going to look at the map for this one, because like I said, I am legitimately just here to get, to move down one floor to get ourselves a water stone. Um, but I want to make sure I go down the right ladder. I think it's, I think it's just this first one right here, too. I think this is literally the ladder we go down and we get a water stone. No, not this ladder. Shoot. Not this one. Um... Because I'm, I think that's the water stone right there. Because that's the only item on this floor. Go up the ladder. So I need to go to one ladder over. Okay, one ladder over, not that far. This ladder should take us to the water stone. And then if we can just encounter a seal while we're here, water stone. There we go. Cool. So I don't need this map anymore. Don't need this map anymore. Literally just looking for, on B2, a 30% chance to run into a seal. 30% chance here. That's what we're looking for. Is... Crobat isn't Gen 2, is it? Psyduck, you're not who I need. Crobat is Gen 2. Crobat is Gen 2. Is Crobat just a... Is Crobat just an evolutionary level? Let me check this. Uh, Crobat. Because Golbat does spawn here as well. If Crobat's just an evolutionary... Leveled up with high friendship. I hate, I hate high friendship level ups. Which we might be able to buy some berries to increase friendship. Because I know that's what I did in, in Pokemon Sword. Uh, Soul Silver, How to Raise, Friendship. Uh, fast. How to Raise it fast. Um, level up a Pokemon. Uh, the Haircut Brothers in Goldenrod City will raise your Pokemon happens between 1 to 10 points, depending on your Pokemon's reaction after the haircut. Uh, what's the fastest way to do it? Farfetch could no longer escape. Darn! Um, it's sitting out in battle all the time, level it up, even if you switch it out into fight. Um, do not let it faint. You can take it to get a massage. Using berries. Uh, stat increasing items, HP up, uh, yeah, that's fine, though. Okay. Um, we only have seven balls here, so hopefully we catch one. I need to just buy some more. We had, like, 50 yesterday, and then I threw 40 of them at a Ho-Oh. And then finally threw a Master Ball at it. I should have just reloaded and threw a Master Ball at it. Because I had saved right in front of it. <clears throat> now I kind of regret not doing that. I, I should have just saved and threw a, um, a and reloaded and just threw a Master Ball at it. So that way I would have kept all my Ultra Balls. Oh well. Too far gone now. Seal. There it is. Level 33. Farfetch, go! And then it evolves at level 34. It evolves at level 34. And we already have a seal in our Pokemon bank. So we just need to catch this one, evolve it in one level, and then we're pretty much good. Ah, oh, shoot, he outsped. He might knock out Farfetch'd. No. Okay. As long as I get him down into the red, I'm good. Yeah, I'm actually fine here throwing out Ultra Ball. And then we will, um, we'll just escape rope. Yeah, we'll just escape rope out. Fly back over to Cinnabar Island. 
So that way we will send Blue back to his gym. Seal's data was added to the Pokedex. Wonderful. Um, give a nickname to the caught Seal. No. Seal's transferred to box two. Wonderful. Um, and then let's go ahead and escape rope. Nope. Over to this one. Gonna escape rope out of here. Then we will fly to Cinnabar Island. I wonder if this chick is confused why I just walked out of here and just started spinning around in a circle. Because she just saw some dude just like appear and then just start like spinning in circles nonstop. Far fetched. Fly us. Fly us to Cinnabar. Hey, Blue, I have seven gym badges now. Do you want to go fight? Am I worthy to fight you now? Hey bud. Nope, don't wanna don't wanna scale it. If you wanna battle me for real, come to the Viridian City Gym. Alright, I'll be waiting for you. Alright, see you there, bud. Alright, now we will fly to Viridian City. Bum bum. Bum bum bum. Do, 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 do. Alright, after all of that, Route 19 it would want me to go on to, but there's nothing on Route 19 I want. And then Viridian, Viridian Gym, Oaks Lab, all that fun stuff. Uh, Viridian Gym, oh, Viridian Gym has no trainers. Viridian Gym will actually be pretty quickly to move through. But we do have the fun Viridian Gym puzzle right there. Bum, 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 which we, we should move through pretty quickly. Take your tired Pokemon for a few seconds. Um, and then that's just talking about Pokemon. It's not talking about specific... Oh, no, wait, there are gyms. There are trainers. Okay, there are some trainers. Bum, bum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, we will move our Dragonite up front. Dragonite has kind of become the main, the main hitter of our team, which I'm fine with. Dragonite's a great Pokemon. Uh, as soon as we, oh no, no, we need to go one more time. As soon as we enter the Viridian City Gym, I'm gonna go ahead and save the game because we haven't saved today. And if we got reset, we'd be put back a little bit. What do you say? How was it? Were you able to battle the leader? No, I made the leader come here, my dude. Go ahead and save the game. There's already a save file. Override it. Absolutely override it. Bum -bum. All right. Oh, okay. Yo, legend in the making. The floor here is unstable, so you should put away your Pokemon. Now! The gym leader is a uh, guy who battled the champion three years ago. He's no pushover. Give it everything you've got. All right, we will give it everything we've got. All right, so if we go up here, that pushes us right in front of that guy. If we go up here, that does that. So this is the only way forward. Alright, if we go up there, that goes up, up, then it just sends us back to this exact plot path. Um, if we go up, up, or over, over, so we need to go up, up. Uh, then we could go, the up will send us down, so up is the only pathway. And then that sends us that way. Cool. Pum, pum, pum. And then, ooh, shoot. So that one sends us straight down. Both of the, the down pathways send us straight down. Uh, the one to our right is the only one that actually moves us forward. And then, just go straight to, oh no! I was incorrect. I mean, this works, so we just have to fight someone. If we would have just went straight up, we would have. If we would have done, done the straight, we would have been fine. Oh well, that's actually this. That's not that bad. We skipped the majority of the other fights. We didn't get reset at all, and it's just a double team with a Porygon two and an Asmoral. Um. All right. Let's just go ahead and actually do a Thunder Wave on Meryl. Um, and then, uh, Strength Porygon 2. 
we still we also will need Porygon, Porygon 2, and Porygon Z. Um, but when I because in Soul Silver the only play the only way to get a a Porygon um, Z is going to be us doing um, perfect. Paralyzed worked. Ooh, gonna play Trick Room. The only way for us to get a Porygon in Soul Silver is to win one by doing the gambling thing, just it, which is you know very difficult to do. Um, I'm gonna. I don't want to hurt Dragonite though. Um, but in I have protected anyways. In uh, Pokemon Platinum, it's easier for us to get ourselves a um, a Porygon there, and then we can just. I think I'm fairly certain you can breed Porygon. Mel Tang is in love with Azmarill. That's fine. You're mobilized by love. Also, I was about to say, why well, didn't Outrage you off? But it's because he protected. Um, go for a strength. Porygon. Okay, I'm glad it failed. I'm like, don't sit here and spam protect at me. Don't be spamming protect at me. Outrage takes out Porygon 2. And let's see if Miltank is going to be immobilized by love or not. Pidgeotto gets a level up to 32. Pidgeotto wants to learn agility. Let me tell you, let me tell you right here, Pidgeotto. I don't care. Yeah, give up, because I don't care. Miltank is in love, so Miltank isn't going to attack. That's fine. Oh, Miltank's still attacked. Very nice. So I'm going to kill Mil uh, Asriel. I'm just going to put some uh, okay damage onto it, and Dragonite will finish off with Outrage. Perfect. No damage done to us. Our Dragonite Outrage is here. Knocks it out. We get fatigued, but it doesn't matter because they don't have another Pokemon to toss in. <clears throat> so it doesn't even matter. And, ooh, Dragonite actually levels up to level 59. Miltank gets 409, Pidgeotto gets 819. Wow, you're really something. Well, this is surprising. It is surprising, isn't it? Oh, no! 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 I misstepped. I misstepped. Shoot. I I I stepped to the wrong place. Ah, that's fine. It's fine. I think that this this guy only has Benda. Uh, there we go. Close Benda has fainted. Did Yoda get some XP? Oh no, he has a pseudo Udo as well. Okay, yeah, two Pokemon. I, I thought I only saw one, um, but I guess there were two. Pseudo Wudo should be an easy knockout here. I also need to breed my Pseudo Wudo and get a Bonsly, um, but I think I think Bonsly might be Gen Four. I don't think I think I don't think Bonsly is Gen is Gen Two. No, it is not. So it's Gen Four, but if we get it, it'll just make it easy. It'll just be something we don't have to worry about later. Because like Elekid, Magby. I have a Smoochum. I have a lot of baby Pokemon that we need to get. Pidgeotto up to level 33. All of my Pokemon all dizzy and fainting. Good. Alright, let's be smart about how we get back to where we need to get to. Nope. Yep. That's the way to get back to where we need to be too. And if we go up... Yes. No, 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 no. Dang it. We need to go. We need to all be all the way over. That's fine. We just need to be all the way over. <clears throat> hit this one is the one we need to hit. So that way it sends us up one more. There we go. We did it. Yo, finally got here, huh? I wasn't in the moon at Cinnabar, but now I'm really. But now I'm ready to battle you. You're telling me you conquered all the gems in Johto? <laughs> Johto's gems are that pathetic? Hey, don't worry about it. I'll know if you're good or not by battling you right now. Dude, hold up. Don't just say that I've, I've challenged all the gems. I'm the champion of the Johto region, is what I need you to understand here, my dude. Champion. Champion. Executor starting things off here. Would actually be helpful if we had our Typhlosion. That's fine. We're going to Dragon Dance. Executor before Executor had a super long neck. 
Nowadays, the only executor people care about is Elolan. Twisted the dimensions. We're gonna hit a, hit a second dragon dance here. No! Don't put me to sleep. That's fine. Dragon I fell asleep, dragon I sleep, that's fine. We'll wake up. We'll use an awakening. Um, status healers, awakening. I'm not here trying to be asleep, my dude. I was trying to get set up. Gonna use a psychic onto us. Let's see how badly this hurts us. Um, ooh. Oof. Oof. Alright, time to outrage then. No! You landed a. You're telling me you outspeed me? Hypnosis isn't priority, is it? I don't think hypnosis is priority. Hypnosis Pokemon. I don't think it's priority. Oh, it is. It is. It is. Okay, that... That sucks. That sucks. Because he's just gonna... He's just gonna keep spamming it at us. He's gonna use another Psychic here. This kind of blows. Dragonite wakes up here. He's gonna use Psychic on us. We set up our outrages just to get screwed over here. This won't kill us unless it crits. But if he hits Hypnosis again before we can attack... There we go, okay. He didn't He didn't go for Hypnosis that time. He's probably going for another Psychic. We only got one Dragon Dance set up. I was, I was wanting to set up two Dragon Dances. So that way I'd be sure we take out. We still knock out Executor, which is a good first knockout here. Alright, who's he coming in with next here? About to send in Rhydon. We'll keep battling because we already have Dragon Dance up and Outrage up. So we sh theoretically should be able to knock out his Rhydon here. Um, he also, I think... If he gets fatigued at this one, we might switch out, especially depending on what he's next coming in with. Oh, yo! He held on. And we get fatigued as well. All right, we'll go for... We'll go for the Outrage. We'll see if we get if we fight through it. Nope, it hurts itself. That's... Nope. Over for Dragonite. Bye-bye, Dragonite. I really needed that not to happen there. That's fine, though. We'll, we will come in with uh, Miltank. Miltank should be able to deal with Rhydon pretty easily here with a quick Surf. And then if he comes in with his... Because he has an Arcanine as well. He also has a, a Gyarados and a Pidgeot. Which will be easy, easy pickings for Ampharos. Uh, Miltank gets a nice 1200 XP. Pidgeotto gets 1200. Pidgeotto doesn't level up. Uh, Machamp will stay in. We'll hit, we'll hit Machamp with a quick surf. Also, I'm some, I, I was expecting him to be level 60. So I, I think red. I think silver. No, red. Okay, never mind. Surf doesn't do anything to Machamp. I take it all back. I think red might have like level 60 Pokemon, if not level 70. Super effective, and it confuses us. That's fine. Uh, I think I picked up a Max Revive at some point. Yeah, we got a couple Max Revives. Well, Max Revive Dragonite here. Alright, I don't have to watch the numbers count all the way up. I believe you that you're going to put them all the way up at 8, 189. Dynamic Punch again. This will go ahead and take out uh, Miltake here. We're going to come in with Dragonite, and we're not even going to set up a Dragon's Dance. Um, because I am afraid of that dynamic punch confusing us. Um, so we're just going to go straight for the Outrage. We're just going to come in and straight go for an Outrage here. This should hopefully be enough to take him out. Ooh. Eh, doesn't take him out. Which means he is going to use a full restore. Uh, which doesn't even matter because since that was our first outrage, we're just gonna hit again. Hopefully we crit. If we crit, that'd be beautiful. Bum, 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 bum. Let's see here. If it puts him right back to where it was, we might end up being, being confused again. And he, oh no! We go for the third one. We go for the third one. He doesn't full restore again. Machamp goes down. Critical hit. Dragonite gets a nice 1100. Pidgey Oto should level up to 34. There we go. 
And we are now fatigued, but that's fine. Coming in with Gyarados, yes, we'll go ahead and switch out to Ampharos. Ampharos should be able to carry us through the rest of this gym battle. Uh, you're gonna hit him with a Discharge. Gyarados is gonna start things off with a Dragon Dance. Raise its attack and its speed, which isn't great, especially since it just cut our attack. Because while this is super effective, this is not going to one-shot Gyarados, I don't think. If it one-shots him, that'd be great, though. It one-shots him. Wonderful. Wonderful. I was expecting it to leave him right at the, at the beginning of, of the red. Amphros up to level 57. Pidgeotto gets a nice 1100. Arcanine is coming in. Um... Actually, we'll switch back to Dragonite. We'll switch back to Dragonite and have him outrage um, this, since we don't have Bill Tank anymore. I forgot Arcanine hadn't come out yet. Because after this, he should just have Pidgeot left. Cuts my attack, which is fine. Hit him with an outrage. Uh, we don't outspeed. He outspeeds us. That might knock us out. That might KO. No, we barely hold on. Dragonite barely holds on with 11 HP. All Arcanine has to do is an extreme speed, and it knocks us out here, which is fine because we should leave it low enough. No, I was hoping it go a little lower. It does go for extreme speed. What a surprise. I was hoping it was going to leave him a little bit lower just so really anyone could come in and knock him out. Was this stressing about Dragonite? Am I? Bum, bum. Dude, my Dragonite is great. Dragonite's one of my favorite Pokemon. I wish, I so wish that, oh, that was stupid. I don't know why I came in with Victory Bell against the Fire type. Yeah, that's uh, that's an easy one shot there. I should have came in with Victory Bell um, and then just healed um, Miltank, but that's fine. His, his HP is pretty low here. We'll just come in with a quick discharge. Ah, oh, you're, you're telling me you're going to use a full restore before you even in red? What's this AI doing? What's this AI doing? Bum, 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 bum. Discharge isn't going to do too much damage to him. Yeah. Uh, we can end with a couple here. We'll see how Flare Blitz hurts us. If we can hold off as far as HP-wise... Yikes. Okay, that actually, that actually hurt. I heard a lot. This could crit. Okay, no, we got the we got the potential paralyze on there though. Uh, potential paralyze is actually pretty nice. Um, I'm gonna go for a hyper potion onto Amphros here. Hope that Arcanine uses something that damages it with recoil, or it just gets paral or it's just paralyzed and can't attack this turn. Either of the two would be helpful. No, he's got a freaking full restore. Okay, we have to uh, we have to bring Miltank back. That's fine. That's fine. If that's if that's if that's how you want to do it, if that's how you want to do it, Blue. That's fine. I'll come out with Miltank. I think I will switch into Farfetch. I think I'll just switch into. No, I'll just switch into. I'll just switch into Miltank. Because he's not going to hurt Miltank that badly. Hit with Recoil. Nice. Burned. Alright, he gets Static onto him. Um, oof. That burn hurt. Switch out to Miltank here. Arcanine, if hopefully is paralyzed, and doesn't even get, even get to attack. But he could go for an extreme speed to get some damage onto us. Flare Blitz, so it'll give himself some Recoil. We could get burned here. Which I'd rather not get burned here. Flare Blitz with a crit. Okay, that's a critical. I'm about to say that did, did a lot more damage than I was expecting it to. But it's because of crit. Surf here's being super effective. Doesn't do as much damage as I was hoping it would. Hits us with a Dragon Pulse. This Arcanine is actually Blue's best Pokemon, it seems. Um. Yeah, we'll just hit him with a Surf. It's not being super effective, it's not doing as much damage as I was hoping it would. Arcanine goes to Dragon Pulse. He's not using any moves that are giving him recoil anymore. This is going to take out our Miltank. 
Miltank is done for. Um, um. Ampharos is burned, so can't really do much with that. So if we come in here with Farfetch, I'm actually going to go for a fly. We outspeed and we get up into the air. Wonderful. Arcanine used Flare Blitz, but there's no one for you to Blitz. Hit him with Fly. Please knock out. Dude's barely holding on. Dude's barely holding on out here. There we go. Got the Aerial Ace. Still outsped. No more four restores. And Arcanine is done for. And Pidgeotto with a nice 13 XP. Coming to end with Pidgeot. We are going to go ahead and switch Pokemon. We're going to switch Twist to Ampharos. Ampharos may be low on HP and burned. But Ampharos should be able to one-shot. One Discharge should take out this Pidgeot. Pidgeot is level 60. This Pidgeot might outspeed, though. So let's actually see. Do we have a full Restore? Uh, we do. So we're actually going to full Restore. Get the get rid of the bird. Get us back to max health. Because this Pidgeot probably outspeeds us. <laughs> Pidgeot goes for a return. Yo, what is that nonsense? What is that nonsense there? You're telling me your, your return does that much? Okay, wow, we hold off for 2 HP. 2 HP. And Discharge should finish it here. If Discharge doesn't, it doesn't one-shot. You're telling me you're... you're you're telling me you can do that much damage to me, but I'm barely hurt you? All right. All right. Um, let's go for uh, a status healer. Let's go for a revive. Let's just bring back Dragonite. Dragonite should easily outspeed this Pidgeot. Because if Pidgeot outspeeds my Ampharos, there is no, there is no point in trying to get my Ampharos to attack here. Because it was going to drop. We can't always fall back on Pidgey on Pidgeotto to heal up some Pokemon. But I'd rather not, because then if we do that... If we do that, that means Pidgeotto is dead. Um, yo, this Pidgeot still outspeeds Dragonite. Return doesn't do nearly as much damage, though. Hopefully one Outrage is all we need. That's all we need. There we go. That is the Kanto Gym Badges. Pidgeotto up to level 35. We need one more level for that stupid Pidgeotto. This is the real power of Johto. No way. How the heck did I lose to you? <laughs> All right. Here, take this. It's the Earth Badge. Hey, guys, look at that. We got the Earth Badge from Blue. With this badge, we'll be able to use the HM Rock Climb here. Take this as well. TM92. It contains Trick Room. It allows slower Pokemon to move before faster Pokemon for a while. It's a very tricky move, isn't it? Hence the name. It sure is. It sure is, Blue. Alright, so up next, we can go get Zapdos if we want to. We, I don't care to. Uh, we can go to Cerulean Cave now. I'm checking to see if there are anything special in Cerulean Cave. Machoke, we don't need. Parsec, we don't need. If we're Soul Silver, no Primate. We already have Persian. Magneton, we don't need. Ditto, we don't need. Golbat, we don't need. Electrode, we don't need. Wobbuffet, we don't need. I'm fairly certain we don't need Wobbuffet. Fairly certain we already have Wobbuffet. No, Wob or is Wobbuffet Gen 4? Wobbuffet might be Gen 4. I actually can't remember what generation Wobbuffet is. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll check. It's a 5% chance anyway, so it wouldn't be fun to go hunt for right now. Uh, generation... No, it is a Gen 2. It's 2-0 something. Do we already have one? We do not have a wall befit. Let's see if there's an easier place to find one, though. Um, as far as the pools go, nothing in there. Rock Smash, I don't need either of them. Second floor, none of that. Uh, basement floor, don't need any of that. Um, if I'm saying we don't need it, we pretty much already have it. And then Mewtwo, which we don't need a Mewtwo, we already have a Mewtwo. No reason for it. Um, nothing in there. Nothing there. A Dusk Stone is in there, but we don't even have a Rock Climb yet anyways. Alright, so we don't need anything there. Mewtwo we don't need. So all that's really left for 
this playthrough. What's Route What's Route 22? Why Route 22? Well, Route 22 is what leads from that. Uh, Ponyta is there. Uh, which, do I have Ponyta and Rapidash already? I feel like I do. I feel like we did get a Rapidash in our first playthrough in Pokemon Red. We did not get a Rapidash. We did not get a Rapidash, but this one is only level 6. So we'll have to, I'll have to check and see if there's a better place to get them. Boom. Uh, ten percent chance on Route Twenty Eight, but also we can get a Ponyta at level forty there, and Ponyta evolves into Rapidash at level forty. I'm fairly certain. So we just get to use a right candy, yeah. Um, so we'll head to up to Route Twenty Eight, get ourselves a Ponyta there. Ursaring also spawns there at a twenty percent chance. Um, is Ursaring? Ursaring, I feel like it's Gen Four, or is it? No Ursarang, but we already have Ursarang, so it doesn't matter. Um, Dadrio we already have, so we'll, yeah, we'll just pretty much want to catch the Ponyta there. Um, cool. Um, Heracross we already caught, and then Mount Silver Exterior, which then, this is after, this is after you've defeated the gym, the, or do you have to do the Elite Four again? I can't remember, actually. Um, Rock Smash is also recommended. Cool. All right, so here's the plan. Here's the plan. We're gonna go heal up first and foremost. Yo, Professor Oak's calling. Hello? Uh, hello, this is Professor Oak. Oh, you don't have to say anything. Oh, I, I mean, yeah, that's cool. Uh, but uh, hey, oh, I know better than anyone else how hard you're working. Hey, thanks, Professor Oak. But I was—I thought I should get you a present or, or something in appreciation. Well, that's—I mean, you don't have to do that. Well, I picked something up, but I uh, completely forgot to give it to you. <laughs> oh, you don't have to worry about it at all. I know it's something that will be very helpful to you. You should just come by here and pick it up. I'll be waiting for you in my laboratory in Palatown. That's awesome, Oak. I'll be there. He just always hangs up on me. He's just—he's just so rude. So rude. Um, so he's going to give us one of the um, uh, Kanto starters, which we'll get to choose from. Um, I'm pretty sure we're just going to take Squirtle. We're just going to take Squirtle. Because uh, that's the only Kanto starter. Oak hurt my feelings. He did. Because see, if we get Squirtle, we'll be done with the Squirtle line. If we get Bulbasaur, we'll have to evolve it into a Venusaur. I think it'd just be easier to just get Squirtle and just not worry about it. Um... And just be done with it. And I'll get the other Kanto starters in a later Pokemon game. Because it's very easy to get the Kanto starters. Because <laughs> the Kanto starters are in just about every Pokemon game that you play. <clears throat> I don't know why they didn't, didn't just make them wild spawns in Soul Silver. It's kind of stupid. Um, I know I don't have any Ultra Balls on me, but we're really only here to go to Route 28 to catch, um, to catch Pony, to catch a Ponyta. Uh, if we see a Ponyta on this route, eh, because it's a low, it's level like 6. And on the next route, they'll, it'll be level 40, so we'll need to catch one. Then I'll just use one of the rare candies that we have in our bag onto it, um, and we'll be good. I might also do that for, if we have, because I think I have multiple rare candies. Um, we might also do that for uh, the seal that we ended up catching uh, to evolve that up to a dugong because I think it only needed one level as well. Oh, um, this way leads to Mount Silver. You'll see scary strong Pokemon out there. You're not ready for it. Do we? It is. Is Route Twenty Eight? Route 28 is a hidden mountain road that leads... Oh, shoot. Okay. This is the final route in Kanto. Okay, so we have to beat the Elite Four again before we can do that. Right? Because that's what's... Do we, we're supposed to do the Elite Four again, aren't we? Uh, route 22 uh, leads from Viridian City back to the Pokemon Reception Gate. Now that all four building hallways are open... I don't have all four building hallways open. Do I have to finish off the stuff with Oak before I can do that? Maybe? I'm on the way to the Dad's house to give him his lunch. The Elite Four has no time to rest day or night. It's such hard work, you know? Say, do you want to exchange numbers? Bum, 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 bum. Call me on Monday around noon if you want to battle. We'll go talk to Oak. Maybe we have to, uh, maybe we have to have, um, 
pick up the starter from Oak before we can go there. If not, we will have to fight the Elite Four again. But I, I honestly couldn't remember if we had to fight the Elite Four again or not. Which I'm assuming we don't since this... Uh, this play by play doesn't have it in there, this walkthrough. Bum, 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 bum. Move Delilah. Alright, I'll be like, Oak, give me a bauble sword and let's call it a or squirtle and let's call it a day. Good to see you, this is what I wanted to give to you. Obtain HM080 Rock Climb. Uh that hidden machine contains a move rock climb, teaches you a Pokemon, you can go up rock walls that have steps carved into them. Those badges are oh, oh wow, you've not only become the Johto champion, but you've collected all the Kanto badges. Well done. <laughs> no wonder I sent something in you when we met. Tell you what, Wiz. I'll make an arrangement so that you can go to Mount Silver. Mount Silver is a big po mountain that has home to many wild Pokemon. It's too dangerous for your average trainer, so it's off limits, but we can make exception in your case, Wiz. <laughs> go to the Pokemon League reception gate. You can reach Mount Silver from there. When you Oh, do we not get our starter? Do we not get one of the starters yet? Okay. Maybe after we defeat Um After we defeat Red. Alright, so just going to Mount Silver though to get po to get the Ponyta. Is there anything in I mean I guess we could do Mount Silver today too, couldn't we? We could do Mount Silver today. But I'm just looking to see about what Pokemon are in there. This is the exterior after Route 28 here. Um, nothing else we really need there. Uh, and then Mount Silver itself. We'll see what Mount Silver itself has told. There we go, now we can get over here. Mainly, mainly I just want to get in here and catch the Ponyta real fast. I mean, Mount Silver, of course, we do need to do eventually, but honestly, I feel like we might need to do some... I might need to do some grinding first. Yeah, because <laughs> Red has level 80 Pokemon. I don't think I don't think we're exactly ready to do that. Uh, but we could go through Mount Silver to get some Pokemon, though, but I, I don't think... I don't think we're exactly in the right place to be going to fight uh, Red right now. Which, really, there isn't... Isn't a big need to fight Red unless that's the only way we get um, our starter, our Kanto starter. So it might need to be there. Um, let's see, Wild Spawns. While we cover this up, just because I'm just battling, get some XP here. Um, Wild Spawns in here. Teddy Ursa spawns in here. Um, Lavatar spawns in here, but I don't think Lavatar is not Gen two though. That's Gen right. No, Lavatar is Gen 2. Okay. So Lavatar we do need to go get. Um, does he have higher spawn rates higher up, though? 5% Pupitar with a 5%. Northwest Chamber. Steelix has a 20% chance spawn. We do need a Steelix. Lavatar still with a 5% chance. That's where you can get Moltres. Uh, which we don't, don't need. Lavatar still only a 5% chance. Yikes. 5% chance. 5% chance. Upper mountainside. 10% chance. Okay, that increases his odds a little bit. Um, and then you get all the way up there. Then you can f get Moltres, and then you can fight Red. And then Oak Slab, which is where you get it. So you do have to feat Red first. Uh, Mr. Bogey, my route's 47, 48, and Bedded Tower. Don't care about all that right now. We're just here to get a Ponyta. We'll get ourselves Ponyta, and then I think we'll kind of, we'll, we'll focus on go, go and doing the other things that I wanted to do today, uh, and we'll do Mount Silver another day. I just want to catch, guess, check real fast that I do have the Drio. We do, okay. So basically what the plans are for the rest of the day, because we finished Kanto, the only main story beats that we have left to do in Pokemon Soul Silver is to defeat Red. So what I'm going to do there? Oh, it's Rapidash! Yo, yo, we don't even have to use a rare candy. Rapidash is a five percent encounter here. I'll take it. Uh, so we're gonna do this catch Rapidash. We are going to go to a Pokemon Center uh, to do some evolutions. Actually, we're not even gonna go to a Pokemon Center to do them. Because uh, first we're gonna go get ourselves a a King's Rock from uh, from the Slowpoke Well. We'll go get that. Then we are going to pick up Rock Smash, 
and we're gonna go try and get a few uh, fossil Pokemon. Get a few fossil Pokemon, um, and then if we have a little time left from that, I'm gonna. This is the last time I'm gonna false swipe him, because if he, if Rapidash tries to hurt himself again, we only have five Ultra Balls here. Ugh, we need more Ultra Balls. Um, if we have some time left after that, we might focus on getting some baby Pokemon. But I need to make out a... I need to, I need to come up with a game plan for that. I don't have enough... I don't have enough balls here to keep doing this. I only have four left. If this one doesn't catch, I'll switch over to Weeping Bell to paralyze it. No, shoot, it didn't even stay in a little bit. I just, I don't want to damage it again and then it, it use a move that gives itself recoil and then it kills itself, is why I don't want to... <sighs> that really blows, that really blows that it has a recoil move, especially as, as low as percent chance it is to, to see a Rapidash here and it would just save me time from having to, um, from having to do something else here, because Rapidash is a 10%, 10, uh, no, 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 no. we're not there. It is, uh, Rapidash is a 10% chance. Um, so I'd rather just catch Rapidash. If not, Ponyta is 30% chance, but I only have three Ultra Balls left. And it's not even shaking once. Like, I'm not even getting one shake out of it. So that's great. <laughs> that's great. Alright, we're gonna switch back over to Farfetch'd. We'll fall swipe, throw a ball at it, and just call it a day on Rapidash. I might have to go buy some. Uh, is Fire Blast where he takes recoil? It might be. No, it isn't. Okay. Uh, we'll go with False Swipe. Please don't kill yourself, Rapidash. Rap, okay, that missed. And I have two Ultra Balls left. We might have to, we'll throw, I don't think Great Balls are gonna be that great in this scenario. There we go, one, two. Oh, cool, we caught it. There we go, Pokemon 151. Bring it in that Rapidash. Bring it in, good old Rapidash to the, to the living decks. Boom, there we go. With its incredible acceleration, it reaches its top speed of 150 miles per hour after just running 10 steps. That's insane. A Rapidash can run 150 miles an hour. That's insane. Billy, I don't want to talk to you. Alright, we are going to fly to Slowpoke Well. Which is... I have to remember where Slowpoke Well is. Um... Azalea Town, right? Right, like that's the Slowpoke Well. That's Union Cave. Cherry Grove. Dark Cave. Blackthorn. No, it's not Blackthorn. I think it is... Which we can't fly there yet anyways, can we? No, because I, I I have to fly to the Indigo Plateau first. Even though I'm closer to Johto than I am if I'm at the Indigo Plateau. I still have to go to the Indigo Plateau to be able to fly there. So stupid. Alright, I'm I'm fairly certain it's Azalea Town. Fairly certain Azalea Town is where um is where we need to go. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Not even gonna worry about healing up right now. And we don't I don't need to buy any balls right now because I'm not trying to catch anything in here. I still need a slow king, but I don't even think slopes like we get a good chance encounter on uh, a high level slow poke in here, which even then I, I I No, it just seems a king's rock. Okay, well that's not the way to go. Uh, not that way. Yes, yeah, this way. This way. It's up and around. I actually think, does it just need a King's Rock? I don't remember. I don't remember. It might just need a King's Rock. Bum, 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 bum. But I, I think, is it... Is it is Slow King a trade evolution? Because if so, we can't get trade evolutions. Any trade evolution, I'll just have to wait until I get to a later game where it's easier for me to trade. 
What is deep blue? Would you like to surf? I would like to surf. We are here to get one King's Rock, but this one is going to be used to get ourselves Politoed. That's who we're going to get with this one. Slowpoke well. I actually don't know this level of the Slowpoke well. I've never, I've never, I don't think in any playthrough of it, I don't think I've ever come to this level of the Slowpoke well. So I'm just going to go left. Go to the staircase here. Don't know who this guy is. I'm waiting to see Slowpoke's moment of evolution. Through observation, I made a new discovery. A Slowpoke with a King's Rocks often gets bitten by a Shelter. Here, I'll share a King's Rock with you. Oh, cool, we got the King's Rock. Can you give me another one? I'm going to be like Slowpoke. I'll wait patiently so I can see one evolve. Zubat. Good old Zubat. Uh, we might just use a... We might just escape rope out of here. I don't think there's anything else to get over there, so we're just going to go ahead and escape rope out of here. There is another place on Monday, Thursday we can buy one. Uh, Wiz, you just missed a 94% shot in XCOM. Yikes. That sounds like that sounds like some Creedax numbers right there. That's what that sounds like. All right, now four. Don't need that. I need to see what town this pickup is in. Violet City. Okay. Violet City. Goldenrod. Olivine. Protect. Violet City. That's where we need to go. We'll go inside. We'll do our quick evolutions inside the Pokemon Center. Then we'll go pick up Rock Smash. Then we will head to... Um, we'll teach Rock Smash to someone. And then we'll go and um, get our try and get ourselves a few... Um, a few fossils. And by a few fossils, I need specifically um, a couple. I need a couple fossils. Which I can breed them, so really I just need one of each. But if we can get more than one of each, that'd be, that'd be great. Alright, so we go in here. We're going to pull out a handful of both here. So, which uh, bills we're going to move because I'm just going to switch this around here. Bum, 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 bum. All right, um, we're actually probably gonna switch our entire team out here. Cause you, these two I just need to give one rare candy each to. Um, what level is Pidgeotto? I'm, uh, Pidgeotto only needs one more level as well. If I have a third rare candy, I'm just gonna evolve Pidgeotto right now as well. The two of these I just need to give stuff to. Um, cool. Missing a 94% shot is just so upsetting in XCOM, though. Because it's just like, how? How are you going to do that to me? How are you going to do that to me, game? I don't want to go into Pokemon, no. I want to go into bag. Um, alright. Uh, first things first. Take the King's Rock. Okay, the King's Rock doesn't evolve there. Maybe it is... Maybe Politoed is a trade evolution. Is Politoed a trade evolution? But this is 152 evolving our Poliwhirl into a Poliwrath. Look how, look how angry he is now. He's much angrier now. Uh, yep. Cool. Politoed evolves when traded holding a King's Rock. So I caught this, I caught the second Poliwhirl for nothing. Um, so let's check Slowking. I think Slowking's a trade evolution as well. Yep, traded holding a King's Rock. Solid. So we didn't need the King's Rock at all. Wonderful. Um, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And rare candies, I think, are in... What, what pocket are they in? I swear I had a, uh, a 1 in 5 chance uh, hitting my Overwatch. That sucks. We only have two rare candies. Okay, I didn't have three. Darn. Alright, wrap it up. No, shoot! Rapidash was already evolved. Rapidash was already evolved, guys. That was the original plan when when we, we were catching a Ponyton, not a Rapidash. Oh well. Seal is gonna go ahead and evolve here. Be our 153rd evolution here. Getting good old Digong. And pop over here just so I can add these in. Um, we now have finally have the Digong. Wherever Digong is. Are. Digong, 
And then we also got Polyrath. Boom. Wonderful. I want to learn Sheer Cold. I Dugong, I don't care. I don't care. I know Sheer Cold's great, but I, I don't plan to use you. I don't plan to use you, my dude. Bum bum. Bum 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 bum. Uh, Bill's PC. Go ahead and move some Pokemon around. I really wish I would have realized that the Rapidash was already there. That's that's frustrating. My right, Rapidash there. Dugong. Put Dragonite back. Farfetch. Get rid of this Poliwhirl, which we don't need. And Polyrath, give me Victory Bell back so we can cut things. Cut our way through any worry we may have. Wonderful. Leave Typhlosion in the PC. Don't really care. Bum, 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 bum. All right. We're pretty much <clears throat> done with anything specific in uh, Soul Silver. So what I'm going to do is I need to come up with a game plan um, for what Pokemon I need to... What, what What's the next line of Pokemon we need to go hunting for? Because I want to get... I, I was saying I want to hit 200 before we leave Soul Silver. We might not hit 200 before we leave Soul Silver. But I need to make the most of getting all the Generation 2 Pokemon. Yo, haven't you had trouble with the Boulder, Boulder Block? Maybe if you're like, yo, there's an HM that'll come to your rescue. Obtain HM06. Uh, or when you watch a soldier line up the shot, then they just move their arms to the right for no reason. Yeah, it's it's like, it's perfect, and then you just miss. Alright, but beware, head moves like this are hard for your Pokemon to forget once they've learned them. Think carefully which Pokemon should learn it. No, it's really going to be up to which Pokemon currently in my party can learn it. That's what it's going to be up to. <laughs> Who can learn Rock Smash? If any of them can. Teach Rock Smash to a Pokemon, let's see if anyone can learn it. Dragonite can learn it. Ampharos can learn it. I'll actually give it to Ampharos. Uh, if I give it to Miltank, Miltank will be four HNs. Uh, we'll just get rid of... Um, we'll get rid of Thundershock. Cause I, I never use Thundershock. I never use Thundershock, so we'll get rid of that. Ampharos and learn Rock Smash. Wonderful. Alright, so next thing's up. How are we going to finish up the day here? is we're just going to go get some fossils. In Soul Silver, the majority of fossils can be found using Rock Smash in the Ruins of Alf. Is this the way the Ruins of Alf? I can't remember. I might have to check my... This is it. Uh, you just missed a 71%. You're killing me. <laughs> oh, no. Um, no, just walk it. Can I not get to that? There we go. I was like, can I not get to this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use Rock Smash. Give me, give me some fossils. Or some encounters, I guess. Bum, bum, bum. Um, that I don't need anymore. Let me pull back up the the place that talked about the ruins of Alf. All right, there, part thirteen. Um, this doesn't talk about ruins of Alf. There it goes. All right, the Ruins of Alf uh, set back. So we can get Natu here. I don't think I ever caught Natu. I don't think I ever did. Todd, why are you calling me, Todd? Todd, what do you want? Wiz, howdy. Yeah, howdy, Todd. It's Todd. I, I've said your name three times now. I'm doing great. You must be you must be a lot better now, huh? How about showing me your technique in a real battle? I'll be right on Route 34. Okay, Todd. What? I don't, I don't care, Todd. I don't care about Todd. Um, Natu can be here. Uh, a 90% chance. I'm fairly certain we don't have them yet. Smurgle, 10% chance would be great to catch. Um, Geodude get, is Rock Smash. Do we get that? Is randomly found by sma by smashing rocks. Okay, so it's just very it's completely random, and it's outside. And inside, you won't get them at all. So this is all outside. That's what I was wanting to check. If, if specifically we needed to be inside the ruins, or if it was while we were outside. So outside, we'll just randomly, instead of getting a Pokemon encounter, we might get one of the, the Helix or Dome Fossil. Which I need, I need one of each would be great. I mean, one of each would be great. We already have, uh, on our living decks itself, um, we already have um, Aerodactyl, so we don't need the old Amber. 
Uh, and we already have Omnite, which is he's sitting in there. So if we we need to get to get another one so we can level up and get Omnistar. Uh, Omnistar, but I don't need uh, two of that because I can just breed them. All right, that's all there. So let's check something real fast. Does leaving here and coming back in respawn those three? Or are those rocks just gone forever? It does respawn them. Okay. It does respawn because that's the case. We can just jam out these right here. This could also just be something that I work off off stream if we don't end up getting them. But just to show you guys what is something I'm going to be working on. Because so far it does not seem like there are very high chances to pop this off. When there are multiple things that we can get for doing this as well. Big yikes. Appears to be breakable. Um, North Chamber. Because this is past the ancient structures in the north. Uh, read the hint to identify the Pokemon, uh, which glows briefly. The floor gives away, dropping to the main underground chamber, where the first ten forms of unknown A through J have awoken. Um. Turning into, tuning into the series change will imp improve the chances of meeting an unknown form that you have not yet encountered. This is one of the few places where they can be count where they can be found. I don't think there's really any reason to want to catch all the different types of unknown, other than just to say that you have them all. Or is this just something that I'm just not into? Okay. This will be something I'll, I'll just come here and, and grind this off because we might take a week off of living decks because I have a lot of stuff that we're gonna that I'm gonna have to do off camera. Um, I'll need to get a couple of fossils here. Um, can you wake up unconscious soldiers? Uh, if you have, um, if you have the a specialist who can uh, revive, if if they have the revival protocol, they'll wake up soldiers. Otherwise, I don't know if there's a way to wake up unconscious soldiers. And you'll just have, you'll have to carry them out of the mission. Uh, I was found a great ball. Oh, okay. Hi. Are there just random items that I can find? Great ball. One rock near the south. Okay. There are a couple of hidden items, and I just happened to walk up to the one that was... I was clicking on it to see if I could also smash those. Quick answer. You can't. Where is the grass at here? Because if there are only two Pokemon that spot out here... Do I not already have Natu? I don't remember catching one. No, we do not have an Asu, and we'll need to catch two. And if they're a 90% chance and they're the only Pokemon that spawn in the grass... I, I, I know we talked about this before. I think it was we, we just couldn't reach this grass. No, but it's just walking right through here. Oh, it is coming out through there and walking to there. And I don't know how to get out there. We're coming out of the rocks over there and I just I don't know how to get out from up there because I don't know how to I've never like tried to go through the ruins of Alf if I swim down over here can I get in because that might be the last thing we do on the stream is just catch that and I'll just come back uh, off stream I'll get those um get the different uh, fossils that I need and then I'll also grind up our Pokemon so that way we can fight red and then come up with a game plan. No, I can't even get in there. And then come up with a game plan for uh, for how many Pokemon I want to try and get before we leave Soul Silver, um, and really focus on that next stream, because I know a lot of it is going to be leveling up Pokemon. Ooh, it's Valve. I'll just throw on a because I don't care to catch unknown, and unknown is the only thing that's going to spawn in here. So we'll just put on a uh, Super Repel, and I'll just run around down here for a minute. And see if I can get to another exit of this place. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, not an exit down here. Is this the only exit of this one? Do I need to be going somewhere else? I might need to be going somewhere else here, and I'm just stupid. Uh, because we are, we did the Kabuto puzzle already. Do we have to unlock different areas of this place by finishing off different puzzles? Repels effects were off, wonderful. There's another one, though. 
Boom. Boom. Um, I think there's a place up to the north I can go into. Because I, I don't mind doing the puzzles and putting those together. Also, I just realized I left the spreadsheet up. I apologize for that. But I think I've gone into this place up here before. Because I think this is where we did the Kaboo Tops. Uh, I think this is where I solved that puzzle and then we fell into it. Yeah, we've already solved this puzzle. You reconstructed the stone panel, that's great. We have an archaeology genius here. Yeah, so we already solved that one. So I don't see how to get into the rest of the Ruins of Alf. Unless I'm just... Oh! Oh, I am really stupid. I think I can, I can surf further over to the right here, and I think that will get me into a different area. That's the only thing I'm seeing here on the map that will allow me to get into somewhere else. Rafael's effects wore off. Oh, no. It's fine. We won't put it back on until we get... In until we potentially get inside. Okay, so what was the point of coming here? What was the point of coming right here? Because I can't go left here. I can't go right. Okay, I... I don't know. I don't understand the ruins of Alf. I really don't. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here to get to other places. Like, I don't know if other doors are supposed to unlock. I solved the only puzzle that I thought there was to solve. Um, most of the ruins can be explored by using Surf and picking up the items. I just don't understand how to get to the different areas of the map. I'm going to have to look that up so we can get over to Because all I need to do is get to the grass over there. Um, Chamber, this Pokemon, yeah. Okay, Sir, if the southeast requires HMO3 to get there. So the southeast one is saying all I need to get there, all I need to do to get to the, to the southeast chamber is surf, which would make it assume that, oh, this is all I need to do to get to the southeast chamber. Now I'm able to do the southeast chamber. But I'm not. Or this be the southeast chamber. But again, I'm not. Oh, wait, hold up. I'm stupid. I am. Okay. I am stupid. Um, cool. Alright, this Pokemon knew no fear and it flew as it flew to the sky as long ago. This is Aerodactyl. Right? Um, there. There. That's a corner piece. That's bottom corner. That looks like a corner piece. Yep, that's his nose. Wonderful. Um, yep, cool. Easy. Maybe. What's what's wrong here? It's it's this one. Oh, I got these two backwards. That's his tail. That's his leg. There we go. <coughs> Boom. Because I guess going in here unlocks other areas of the out of the ruins. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll 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 figure it out together. Um, doesn't unlock anything that way. Maybe now while I'm upstairs, I can see something different. Because this just allows me to come right back up of the original exit. Like, that's all the only place this ladder goes to. So something outside must change. Um, I just don't know what would change. Because it says west would be the next one, and it says I only need to be able to surf to get to it. Can I surf over here somewhere? Oh, right here I can rock smash. Which maybe will lead me up to something up there? I don't know. Is there is there an entrance on the map up there? Um, I don't see an entrance on the map up there, but there might be one. Someone was about to call it before I clicked. Oh, maybe that's an entrance right there. We'll break the both of these, see if we get um, 
See if we get some of the fossils, that would be helpful if we do. Pokemon Battle instead. Almost as good as getting a fossil. Especially against a good level 9 Geodude. Thanks, Geodude. Welcome. Bum, 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 bum. Emerson, did you finish uh, the new episode of Pokemon D&D yet? We actually recorded an episode last night. It was it was pretty great. <laughs> Very excited for you guys to see it. Alright, oh, this just brings me over here? What nonsense is that? I could have done this the entire time. I could have gone over there the entire time. That does nothing for me. That does nothing. This takes me up to the north one, which I've done before. Um... Maybe we just, we can surf over to that one now? Maybe, maybe a, the, a rock has moved down here? Your level 59 dragon, I got scared and ran from a level 9 Geo, dude. He, listen, he's, he's kind of spooked. He's kind of spooked. No, okay, we can't get there. I don't understand this place. I really don't. Um, because so we've done this one. Let's see if there's someone in here now who will talk to us. No, okay, no one talks to us in here. My level nine, my my fifty nine Dragonite is just super afraid of Pokemon, especially lower levels. He gets really he gets, he gets scared really easily, really easily. Um, there's got to be something I'm just stupid and don't realize how to get over here. That's honestly the only thing I can think of. Because doing the puzzle, the only reason to do the puzzles are to unlock the ability to catch different types of uh, unknown, which I don't I don't care about. I'm just trying to get to this grass over here to catch that too. I just clutched a 23% shot for the win. That's how I do it. Am I supposed to come through? Because I think these two tunnels connect to each other. Like, looking at the map of this entire area. I'm pretty sure these two tunnels are connected. So we've been walking around. We're right here right now. We were able to surf across, get up to this one. To get into this right here, we have to come from this tunnel here. Which, to get to this tunnel here... We have to come from here. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. All of this is done. We've done this. We've done this. I just don't know how to get over to this. That's what I that's what I don't know how to do. Um Oh wait, hold up. Some chambers are only accessible. Uh, accessible from the Union Cave. Which I don't think we ever, we never went through the Union Cave. It was a good episode. Love the reunion with Josh and Yellow as well as Master Blake. Um, I can just say that. <laughs> Stay the television sitcom should be. <laughs> I heard Tyler mention something about Team Plasma in that episode. He's just, Team Plasma doesn't exist. He's just making that up. Um, deep underground, it's connected to the ocean. Water flows from here. Yeah, because we never did... Union Cave, other than just as a quick walkthrough? Is there a map on this page? Why don't you have a map of it? There we go. Heart Gold. Soul Silver. Pull up the map here. Because we only ever... I don't even think we did this. Oh, because it's the bottom floor. I think that's what we need. To, where we need to go through? Is go through Union Cave to get there? Shoot. I'm gonna have to do a little bit more research into that and figure out which way we need to go here. Because that's kind of frustrating. I was hoping we'd just walk over there, catch a Pokemon, and move on. Um, plus, there might be some other Pokemon that we need in the Union Cave. Where's Union Cave even at? Dark Cave. Dark Cave. Union Cave. Okay, cool. So, here's what we're gonna do. I will come up with a game plan because all we have left to do in Soul Silver is to defeat red so that way we can get our squirtle and then from there all that's left to do is to catch a few more pokemon i'm wanting to catch another 47 before we leave soul silver but i'll see how that goes i'm going to come up with a game plan over the next couple weeks we're probably going to take next week off of soul silver of play of our living decks um and play a ton of XCOM next week uh and then from there um we will go from there so yeah YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you let us know in the comments down below. Come join us over on Twitch.tv to see it live. YouTube, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.